Hey guys, my name is Jessie, and welcome to Jessie Her Doll Up, where I help you dress your doll up Jessie style. So today, we're going to be doing these skirt swimsuit bottoms. You can do the panties or the swimsuit bottom different colors, or you can do them the same. This yellow one is a little more high-waisted, so I'll show you how to do it the way you want, depending on the style you're looking for. If you're interested in making the tops to match them, I will put those links in the video description. So this one in the center, I will link first. It's called Off the Shoulder Outfits, and it has a dress tutorial if you wanted to make it longer as well. So be sure to check that out. This yellow one will also be the second link in the description as well. So if you want to make that one to match your skirt bottom, be sure to check that out. Okay, so I'm going to be using this um, shade of purple, which is yarn from the Dollar Tree. I don't have the original package, but this is similar yarn. It's the Just Active. It's a polyester. Or actually, here's a different one. I don't know which one it is for sure. This one is an acrylic. Um, but it doesn't matter. What you need to know is that it's a medium number four. Um, it's also considered a worsted yarn. And I am going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is also a size I or a size 9. Okay, and to begin, I'm going to start with a slip knot. Um, so you can do a slip knot however you want. The easiest way and simple beginner way for me is to take my yarn, and I have my two fingers. I'm going to wrap it around my fingers twice, so there are two parallel lines in the front, and there's just one in the back. Then, with my palm facing up, and there's two parallel lines there with my tail in towards the front, then I will take my back end and move that forward. That will be an X in my fingers for a second. And then I can open up my fingers slightly and take that back end and just put it in between my two fingers. I can hold it there and then I can go ahead and slide it off. And that creates a slip knot, which I can then slide onto my hook. Okay, so once you have your slip knot, then we're going to go ahead and chain. And to chain, you simply yarn over and pull through yarn over, pull through. We're going to do this six times. So I've done it one, two, this will be three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's our foundation chain. And now we're ready to begin our first row. We're going to start the ribbing um, or the waistband of our skirt. So to do that, I'm going to skip this first space. Um, and remember that the chain around my hook doesn't count. So this is the first space from my hook and this is going to be the second. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. So to do that, you're going to insert, you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through, you'll come out and you'll have two loops on your hook. You'll yarn over again and pull through those two loops. So that's what we're going to do for this first row is just single crochets. And we should have five of them. So this will be my third. Here is my fourth, and this will be my fifth. Okay, and that was my first row. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to flip my work. So I was working this direction and I'm going to flip over and I'm going to be working this direction. So, and then in this first space, this chain is going to be um, the first space from our hook and this right here will be our second one. So again, in the second chain from the hook, we're going to go through both of those leaps with a single crochet. Okay, now we're going to switch it up and we're still going to do a single crochet, but we're just going to go into that back loop. So you see how there's two loops? We went into both of those before. This time we're just going in to the back one and doing a single crochet again. And we're going to repeat that again. 
And just by going into the back loops, this is going to create a ribbing effect and it's going to give our waistband kind of a stretch. And then once you come to the end again, we're going to go ahead and go to through both of those loops again on the end and just finish off with a single crochet. Now we're just going to repeat that again. So I'm going to chain one, turn my work, go in both of the loops that are from the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. And then in the three stitches in the center, I'm only going to go in the back loops and do single crochets into those. Go through both of them and then once you're to the end, I'm going to go through both loops again with a single crochet and finish off. And you can see we're starting to build um, this ribbing which stretches. So we're just going to repeat that um, until you have the desired length of your waistband. You can either try it on your doll, um, like grab her and wrap it around her waist to see if it fits, or you could measure your doll and then um, use a measuring tape to measure, or you can just count your stitches. Um, so I'm going to count my stitches and I'm going to do approximately 40 um, rows. So I will meet you when I am at 40 rows. Okay, so here it is after 40 rows, um, and that's not counting. So this foundation chain doesn't count as a row. We started counting our rows after that. So that measures, if I stretch it, approximately like 14 inches. Um, if it's not stretched, we're getting about 11 there. Um, so, or you can always take your doll and just wrap it around and see if it fits, which it does. It fits perfectly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say that's enough rows. So at the end of your last row, you'll just go ahead and do a chain one. Um, and then I'm going to match up the ends of my rows and I'm going to just work slip stitches. So I'm going to go into the first space here and then in the first space here and I'm going to yarn over and then pull through everything. So not a single crochet, just a slip stitch. So I'm going in through both of those. And then I'm going into the next stitch, yarning over, pulling through, pulling through that loop as well. You should have to do five slip stitches. Okay, and then that slip stitch should just kind of blend. It does stand out a little bit, but it's going to blend right in with the rest of your stitches. So now we're ready to start on the next part of our skirt bottom swimsuit skirt bottom. So I'm going to chain one and then this row or round, we're not going to be working in rounds because we've connected, is just going to be half double crochets into every single stitch. So we'll do 40 of them. So after we've chained one, we're going to yarn over and we'll go into that first space. We'll yarn over and we'll come out and there are three loops on our hook and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So that's what a half double crochet is. I'll do it again, yarn over, go into that space. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way around into every space. And you can tell where the spaces are. Sometimes they're kind of hard to find because we have to have up and down bumps. 
and I forgot to yarn over before I went into that one. So yarn over first, then go into your space, yarn over again, come out three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So, and then like there we went into a space here, we kind of have a bump, you're going to go into that space. Which again, I'm in the habit of doing single crochets. Yarn over first, then complete your half double crochet. So I will meet you once I made it all the way around and you should have 40 stitches. Okay, once you've made it all the way around, you'll know because you'll have that little, you either still have your tail or kind of that little ridge where we slip stitch together. Um, we're going to go ahead and this is where we did that um, chain one. So we're skipping that and we're just going to slip stitch in the top of the first stitch we did. And that will complete um, our first round. So this now counts as a round after we did our ribbing. So that'll be one. And now we're going to start our second yet round. So I'm going to chain one and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do half double crochets all the way around, except for we're going to do increases in this row and that will kind of give that flat fanned out flare look to our skirt and um, so I'll go ahead and do just those half double crochets into every stitch so there I've done three this will be four so in that fourth stitch, I'll just go ahead and do two stitches in to the same stitch and that creates an increase. So then I'm just going to repeat that again. I'll do three half double crochets, just one into each space. So there I've done that. And then once I get to the fourth one, I'll go into that same space again that I just went into and that'll kind of slowly widen out our skirt as we go. So you'll just repeat that all the way around. Just do three half double crochets into every stitch. When you get to the fourth one, do two stitches into that stitch and I'll meet you when we've made it all the way around. Okay, and then once I've made it all the way around, um, I have one stitch left and I'll just go ahead and do two stitches into that stitch. And then again, I will skip this part right here where I've chained one and just go in to the first stitch that I did in this round and do a slip stitch. And then... I am ready to start my next round, which is still going to be rows of half double crochets. So just begin that. I'm going to chain one and then we'll do a half double crochet into that first space. And we're still going to increase in this round. We're just going to do it um, a little less. So go ahead and do four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, and then this time in the fifth one we'll do our increase. So we'll do into that space and then we're going to go back into that space and do another stitch. And again we'll just repeat that all the way around for this round. So do four stitches and then do two stitches into the fifth stitch. I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, and then as you come around to the end here, I've just done two stitches. Um, and then I have, it looks like three stitches left. We'll just go ahead and do one stitch into each of those stitches and call it good. Oops. Okay, and then again to finish off, skip that chain one that you did to start and go in the very top. So this is the chain one. This is the top of that first stitch we did and we're going to slip stitch into that. 
Now you can see that our skirt is starting to flare out. It's up to you depending on the length of the skirt you want. You could keep going forever and ever and make a really long skirt. Um, but for this particular pattern with the swimsuit bottoms, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Now at this point, I'm going to start um, these ruffles on the bottom right here. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and chain two. But just make sure, before you start this part, make sure that you are on the outside. So if you look on the inside, you can see these ridges from um, our half double crochets, which is good. That's what we want. Later, we're going to attach our panty right here. So you want those to be on the inside. I guess it really doesn't matter. You could flip it. Um, and your um, your ruffles or your petals could be going the other way. So here to start this, I've just chained one, two, then I'm going to do a half, not a half, I'm just going to do a straight double crochet into that same space. So to do that, I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to insert into that space, yarn over, pull through, there are three loops on my hook, yarn over, just pull through two of them, then there are two loops on my hook, yarn over again, pull through those two. So that was a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to do a double crochet back into that same stitch. So I'm yarning over, inserting into the same stitch, yarning over, there are three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two. So that was another double crochet. I'm going to do that one more time into the same stitch. So what we're creating here, um, sometimes these are called fan stitches, sometimes people refer them to as shell stitches, um, but that's what it is. Then we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to repeat that again. So this time instead of that chain one, we're just going to replace it with a double crochet because that first chain, I think I called it a chain one, I meant chain two right here where we started with. Is a double crochet so now I'm doing another double crochet into that same space again and now this is where I'm doing my chain one and then I'll do two more double crochets into the same space so there's one here will be two and then I'm just gonna repeat that all the way around so skip two stitches into this third stitch here do a double crochet actually do twice, do them twice, and then do a chain one and two more, and I will let you finish this round on your own, and I'll meet you when I'm all the way around. Okay, and after you've made it all the way around, um, if you have like four stitches here, go ahead and do one more um, fan stitch. I have two or three um so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off i'm gonna go to the top of that first chain two i did and simply just do a slip stitch boom okay and if you see my other tutorials um i refer to this as the fan stitch and then the stitch on top of that is going to be the shell stitch um, so what we're going to do is after we slip stitch i'm going to yarn over and then i'm going to do double crochets into this space right here where we did that chain one. So there's one double crochet and then I'm going into that space again and doing another one and we're going to do a total of five. That was four, I believe, and then this one will be our fifth one. Okay, and then to finish off our shell stitch, we're going to go in this space right here, so where we've started our stitches, and we're just going to do a single crochet is what that was. So that's what our ruffle or our petal, our decorative skirt bottom looks like. So we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So again, you'll do five um, double crochets into this space and then 
end of this space right here, you'll just go around it all and do a single crochet. And then you'll continue that pattern all the way around until you get to this end. So I'll go ahead and meet you once I'm to that point again. Okay, so once you've made it all the way around, just go ahead and do like you've done every other um, spot and finish off right here with that single crochet. Um, and then I can take my scissors and cut off my yarn. And even if you're not going to use different colors for the inside, those oh, scissors are awful. Um, if you're not using different colors for the inside of the panty, you still need to cut off your yarn at this point because we're going to reattach in the inside of the middle right here to work our panty. So even if you're using the same color, go ahead and cut off your yarn. And I'm going to go ahead and weave in these ends real quick just so they're out of the way. So here's what our completed skirt looks like. If you wanted to just only use this as a skirt and not add the panties in the bottom, you could be done at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and do the panties. So I'm doing it with a different color of yarn. This again matches the top. Um, link in the description for this tutorial. I'm going to start on the inside so you can see where these ridges are that we did those half double crochets creating those ridges. So I'm gonna start just anywhere. It doesn't matter, like it doesn't have to match up. So just pick a random spot and attach your yarn. Um, and there's no slip stitch. We've just pulled it through a loop like so. And then what we're gonna do is single crochets into these stitches right here if you can see them so where there that ridge is if you kind of fold your skirt in you can see and we're going to grab these loops all the way around so we're just going to do um single crochets i'm going to make sure this is pulled tight so it doesn't come undone like so if you wanted to like if you're worried about this coming loose you could just attach it what by using just like a regular knot and then it won't come undone um, but I don't want any like bulkiness so that's it's optional how you start but um do it your own way so yep just in every stitch all the way around we will be doing single crochets and because this um row of half double crochets that we did in purple we did 40 of those for the first one, I believe, we're going to have 40 of these aqua stitches for our panties. So I'm going to go ahead and work those all the way around. Um, I'll meet you when I'm to here. Okay, so once you've done your, or your single crochets all the way around, I'm just going to go ahead and continue working single crochets on our next um, row as well. And now we're just gonna work in rounds. So I'm just tying in this tail end as I go basically. And then just right on top of that stitch before, I'm gonna work a single crochet just around that tail end. So you can do however many rows of single crochets you want. If you want your skirt bottom to be like higher waisted, do more um, rows or rounds of single crochets. If you want them to be like a low rise, do less. So in the yellow skirt, I believe I did five. Um, rows or rounds of single crochets. I'm gonna attempt to do three on this one because I want it to be a little bit lower. So I'll do three 
um, and I'll meet you when I have made it all the way around. If you want, you can put, I actually might put a stitch marker right here so you know when you've made it all the way around. Okay, so once you've made it all the way around, you can remove your stitch marker if you used one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it back on top of that stitch just so I know where that is. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep doing single crochets for 20 stitches. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to fold it in half and I will stop once I'm over here at 20. Um, so if you have a different amount than 40, like say, I don't know, you have 38. Um, depending on whether your doll was bigger or smaller than mine, just cut that number in half and count that number of stitches. And then I'll show you what to do once we get there. So go ahead from this stitch marker, do single crochets of half the amount of stitches in your total round is what we're doing. Okay, so I've made it. Um, I've done, so this is in a stitch. Then there are 18 stitches right here. And then here is my stitch marker again, right? And then not counting that stitch in this stitch marker and not counting the stitch in this stitch marker, there are 18 stitches. So I have a total of 20 stitches all the way around. Um, and now I am going to start the penny. So on this side there are three rows, on this side there are four rows. There's my stitch marker. To start my next row, I'm now going to chain one and turn my work. So we're now working in rows again instead of rounds. And in this first stitch, which is actually, because we've chained one, we're going to start in this first stitch right here. So in this first stitch, we're just going to do a single crochet right there. And then in the next stitch, we're going to decrease. So to do that, we're going to do two stitches together. So what I'm going to do, do is insert my hook. I'm going to yarn over and then I have those two loops on my hook. I'm going to go ahead and go into my next stitch. I'll yarn over again. I'll come out. I'll have three loops on my hook and then I'll pull through all three of those. So these two stitches right here, we've just crocheted together and made them one. Okay. And now all the way across until we get to here, we'll just do single crochet stitches again, one in every stitch. Um, and go ahead and stop. I'll meet you when I am two away from this crochet marker. Okay, so here I am two stitches away from this crochet marker. Um, I actually lied, I want to be three, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that stitch. Now what we're going to do is work these two stitches together again. Um, so I'm going to start out like I'm doing a single crochet. I'm going to yarn over. There are two loops on my hook. Then I'll go ahead and go into the next stitch. I'll yarn over, come out. There are three loops on my hook. And I will yarn over. And now I've connected those stitches again. And then just in this last stitch, I'll do a single crochet again. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So we're just going to repeat what we just did in this first stitch. We're going to go ahead and do just one single crochet and then we're going to crochet these two together. So there's two loops, then go ahead and go into the next stitch. Come out, there's three loops and then pull through all three of those loops. And then you work your way all the way across again until you have three of these three stitches away from your end right here and I'll meet you there. So here I am with those three stitches. We'll just do the same thing we've been doing. Start out like you're doing a single crochet and then go into the next stitch and connect them together. Go finish off this last stitch right here with just a regular single crochet. And then we're going to turn our work and repeat the same thing. So we'll just decrease by one on the ends in every row and we're going to repeat this pattern until we've tapered off until we only have about six um, stitches. So just keep decreasing and I'll meet you when to or to six. Okay so on this row I have seven stitches um, 
So as I decrease on this one, I believe I should have five. So I told you six, but I meant five. So we're crushing all those together. And we're getting this one in the middle, and then we're gonna crochet these next two together. Like so. And then we'll just do one single crochet into this last stitch right here, which should give us one, two, three, four, five. Yep, perfect. Um, so we'll go ahead and chain one and then turn our work and we'll just do, we'll stop our decreases at this point and this will be the bottom of our panty. Now there's two options. Um, you could either keep working this um, and then do increases and connect it this way and then either slip stitch or use a needle and whip stitch this together. Um, or you could stop and then start over, connect your thread right here and work decreases again. So there's two options of what you can do to finish these off. I'm going to go ahead and do the way where I'm working from here again and then I'll meet in the middle and connect them. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, it's okay. Um, just do what I do, I guess. So I'm going to do a couple of rows with just five single crochets in each row for a minute. So I'll meet you when I get those done. All right, so I believe I did a grand total of three. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn off right here. Um, and I should have probably left a little bit more so that I could have sewed it together. Um, but that's okay, we'll leave more on this end. So now I'm going to attach my yarn on this side. So I'm going to start right here and pull it through and I will weave this tail end as I go along too. So I've, um, I'm going to go back again you can tie tie your yarn and then do like a single crochet if you want. Um, I'm not doing, I'm just going to go into this space right here. So that kind of looks bulky, but, um, it'll work out. So, and from the stitch, attach your yarn and then just do single crochets all the way across. And we're basically going, we're going to repeat what we did over here. Um, so I'll meet you over here and I'll do a couple of rows with you just in case. So once I'm three away from this stitch marker, we'll go ahead and start our decreases. So we will work these two stitches together. And then we will do a single crochet on the end here. And then just like we did on the other side, whoops, I'm getting tangled up. We will chain one, flip our work, go into this first stitch with a single crochet and then these next two we will crochet two together and then just repeat that do single crochets all the way across once you get three away from over here just continue doing that so you know how to do that i'll let you do that on your own we want both sides to um match so them to be identical so i'll meet you once we're to that point Okay, so here, whoops, I don't, I almost pulled that undone. Um, I should have put a stitch marker in there. Anyway, so um, my sides are now parallel and I've worked, I think I worked three of those um, rows of five on this side. And I think there are like one, two, three, four, five. So maybe a total of eight-ish and then I'll go ahead and connect these together. You can work how many rows you want. I would recommend trying it on your doll and then make sure 
make sure sure that it fits and then <laughs> go ahead and do however many rows that you want. Um, now you could um, like what was the word I'm looking for? Slip stitch these together if you want. Um, I would do that if I was gonna work the I'll show you the edges right here in the same color of yarn. Um, but because I'm gonna do them in purple and I'm gonna change my color of yarn anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it off, cut off, use a needle and thread to connect these together, and then I'll attach my purple yarn around there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave enough to sew it in over here. And I will tie this so it doesn't come undone. Then I will just take my needle I'll thread it by pinching my yarn and then I'm going to go ahead and whip stitch both ends together. Just go through one side and then out the other. Okay, and then I can just go ahead and weave this thread in. So when I weave my ends in, I like to go three different directions. So once one way, once the other way, and then back the same direction. And pull tight, and then I'm going to weave these tail ends as I work my purple. So I'm going to cut them off just a little ways, and then I'll grab my purple. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my stitch marker, and then I'm going to attach my yarn where I did, where I had my stitch marker. You could really just start anywhere, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna do single crochets into every stitch and work my way around. Once I am to where that tail end is, I'll just continue doing single crochets, but I'm working them around that tail end. So once you've made it all the way around, um, do your single crochet into your last stitch, and then in that first single crochet you did to start where you attached your yarn, just simply do a slip stitch. And that will complete our little border. Um, then you can go ahead and take your scissors and cut your yarn and tie it off. And then you'll just weave in this end with a needle and thread. And then you can go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did on this side, on the other side. And here's what our finished product looks like. I think the multiple colors and then with the trim turned out pretty cute. I like the way it turned out. Remember to check out the links for the top to complete your full swimming suit. And be sure to subscribe and get notified so that you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.